the difference in communes, they all have their, their basis. Rick Klein, who'd given his inheritance to build New Buffalo, he wasn't like a leader. It was everybody working together and having discussions and little meetings and discussing what they were going to do, that group. So that group was more amicable to what I was feeling. And then the hog farm was the tightest because these people stayed together and did all sorts of things for other downtrodden people, like they'd started SAVO, which is Saves the Eyesight and the Nepalese People. They were dealing with uh, Larry Brilliant, who ended smallpox. That group is, to me, the epitome of the greatest commune there is, because they're still together today. They're still doing things today, and they have Camp Winter Rainbow, and they still have Seva, and it's it's a group that's never going to be broken up. They're all part of that same group today. It's, it's a mindset, and it helping society and helping to save the planet. So they're all still together, as far as I know, the ones that are alive.